Okay, so as uh, part of the Arduino gravity pendulum experiment, we do need to talk a little bit about the software that we've written to install in the Arduino to get the whole thing to work. Um, it's sort of basic at its core. It's everything that we've seen before here. Again, in setup, we're initializing the serial port at 9600 baud so we can stream the numbers back to the computer for capture and analysis. Uh, the core right here is about what we discussed earlier here. Into variable A, we're reading analog input zero, which is that center tap point on the voltage divider pendulum. We're converting it to a voltage V in this line right here, so we can have actual voltages out, although it doesn't matter. We could leave that out. Now, the next three lines, uh, what we're doing here is, remember, we sort of need the time and the position of the pendulum. So what we're doing here is we're sending back the computer over the serial port. We're just printing out the number of millis, which is the number of milliseconds since the Arduino was powered up. It serves as a very nice timer. We'll probably use it time and time again. Then we're just printing a comma out so the time can have a comma after it. And lastly, we're just printing out V here, or the number of volts that was converted in red from the, uh, the pendulum there. Okay, So these three lines here will create a sort of line that looks like this. You'll see an XXXX. That'll be a time, a comma, and a YYYY. Those, that'll be the pendulum value. And the lines will just sort of keep going like that all the way down. We added a couple other things just to help us out a bit here. Oftentimes, that text excuse me, the serial monitor can get a bit crowded with old work and new work and stuff. So we decided that right after we open the serial port, we'll just print the word start dot 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 out. So we always know where a program is starting fresh. And we know the numbers right after that are just uh, the latest run there. And the other thing we'll do is so it just doesn't keep streaming forever and ever and ever. Uh, we're sort of, we set up a variable called C here. C is short for count. And we're initializing it to be zero here in the setup here. So we're setting a variable up to be zero. And every time we sort of write a line out to the screen here, we're incrementing C by 1. C++, you could also put this C equals C plus 1 in there if you wanted to, but we just need some running counter. And we're only saving, according to this if statement here, the first 1,000 lines, just so we don't get gobs and gobs of data. It seems like if we hit go, got the pendulum started, read about 1,000 lines here, which will be about a second or so with latencies of reading the pendulum here. That should be about enough for us, and so that's sort of what we're doing here. So anyway, this is the code here that you would type into the Arduino software, send out the Arduino, and have running and ready to go just to get your pendulum swinging. So there you go.